let's start again. No, 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 no. Keep going. Usually, when things are hidden, they are unknown. Sometimes things are hidden and they are well known. They even attract tourists, like this place. If you ever decide to come to Amsterdam and visit this place, there's one aspect of Amsterdam which you must not miss. It's the hidden churches. Normal, postcardy, typical Amsterdam houses, but when you go in, you'll find a church. The church was illegal, almost immoral to be Catholic, but Catholics were tolerated. They could worship, they could pray, they could obey to the Pope, believe in the sacraments, go to confession, as long as it was not seen by the public, as long as nobody was scandalized by their way of believing. The Begijnenhof, which means a court where lady, widows or ladies without a husband were living. It was kind, a kind of religious center. If you go there, it's a very nice, quiet, beautiful place in Amsterdam. You will find another very spectacular hidden church behind the facade of a normal, normal house. From the beginning of the Reformations, the, the Catholics sort of wanted to be faithful, but they were somehow also faithful to their roots. They were Dutch, they didn't mind having lost, let's say, the political part of the fight, but they wanted just to worship God wherever and whenever they were allowed to do so. So for them, it was a good solution. And the Protestants, okay, they were the new rulers of the country. They shaped the identity of the Netherlands. But on the other hand, they didn't find any reason in persecuting Catholics or killing them. And they were tolerated. In a way, that meant that God was more important than political power. In a way, we've, we've stuck to that tradition. And I like that. <laughs> 